Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. In this video, I'm going to show an easy way to find the intersection of two values in a table. For this example, I'm using the driving distance between US cities. I have 15 cities on the left, I have 15 cities on the top. And let's say you want to find the driving distance between Miami and Tampa. The distance between Miami and Tampa is 329 miles. If you want to see how to build this spreadsheet, please stay tuned. Okay, the first thing we want to do is prepare our database. The database I prepared for this example is a simple table of 15 US cities that we can see in these 15 rows and the same 15 cities in these 15 columns. If I want to know the distance from Chicago to Dallas, I can see the distance is 1290 miles. Same idea, Denver to Miami. 2,772 miles. Now, the key to resolve this challenge is to understand rows and columns. What I'm going to do next is temporarily write a row number for each of the 15 cities on the left and a column number for each of the 15 cities on the top. The challenge today is to identify what is the distance from to, let's say, what is the distance from Chicago to Houston? First thing we want to know is identify the row number of this intersection. By the way, the intersection here is Chicago is in row 3, Houston is in column 6. Row number, column number and the value in the intersection. In order to understand the row number, we're going to use the match formula. So I'm going to tell Excel match, open parenthesis. The lookup value is going to be the city that I'm driving from, comma, and my lookup array or my lookup range is going to be the rows on the left, comma, Excel is asking me what kind of match I want, of course I want an exact match, close parenthesis, enter. So now I know that this city is in row number three. Let's use the same formula for our column. The match value I want to look up is the city I'm driving to, comma, I want to find this value in this range of columns, comma, and I want an exact match as well, which is a zero, close parenthesis, enter. So I know my, my intersection is in row three, column six. The next thing I want to do in order to pull the value in the intersection is to use the formula index. Index is going to ask me what array or range of data you want to use. This is the range of data that I want to use, comma. When it asks me for the row number, I point at this cell, which contains the row number, comma. When it asks me for the column number, I point at this cell, which has the column number I'm looking for. Close parenthesis, enter. And there we have it. The distance between Chicago and Houston is 1510 miles. One last thing we're going to do is put our answer here. And for that, we're going to use the formula concatenate. Concatenate merges strings of text and values. So let's use concatenate, open parenthesis. The answer is the distance between comma the value in this cell which is Chicago comma and comma the value in this cell which in this case is Houston 
comma is comma the value in the intersection which is 1510 miles comma miles let's see what it looks like close parenthesis enter what is the distance between Chicago and Houston the distance between Chicago and Houston is 1510 miles now the next thing we want to do is insert the drop-down menu so that we don't have to be typing the values in the cell we're gonna go to the data tab and in the data validation menu we're gonna say data validation we want a list and we want this wrench in the list okay now I have my drop-down menu same idea for the two city data validation I want a list in the range I want is the columns on the top okay so now I can quickly play with the city that I want to go from and the city I want to go to and again I get the answer in this case the distance from Tampa to Chicago is 1614 miles and finally the last thing we're going to do is remove the redundancy in the intersection formula we have here is index we have the value in cell B7 which is this and the value in cell B8 B7 contains this formula so what I'm going to do is copy the formula in B7 and I'm going to replace this B7 with it enter I no longer need this formula here same idea with the value I have in cell B8 I'm gonna copy and replace this B8 with my formula enter I no longer need this value now this formula is intersection between the two so if I copy this whole formula and paste it into my concatenate formula I no longer need the value in cell B9 enter I delete all this and I have my answer what is the distance from New York to Philadelphia the distance from New York and Philadelphia is 129 miles now it's time for a bonus trick I no longer need these values here and I no longer need these values here Now I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting to make the intersection of the two values more visual. We're going to put a condition over here. If I go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, and I want a new rule. The new rule is going to be Use of Formula, and I'm going to say if this value here equals this value here, then I want to put a fill and maybe a darker font I want the value in cell B4 to be constant I want column H to be constant I want row 3 to be variable okay I go back to conditional formatting I manage the rules and I want this condition to apply to all this range okay we can see here I have New York selected and New York is showing a darker row I'm gonna use the exact same thing for rows so conditional formatting new rule use a formula to de determine the cells to format if this value equals this value then I want a darker font and I wanna fill okay I want the value in B5 to be constant I want the columns to be variable and I want row 2 to be constant okay I go back to conditional formatting manage rules and select the range where I want the condition to apply okay New York selected Philadelphia is selected if I change a value to let's say Miami this changes automatically 
And that's all for today. If you have a challenge with Excel that you need help with, whether it's at work, at home, or at school, please write it in the comments below. I try to resolve the most common challenges of our viewers and subscribers. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.